I did not know that. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? Generic intro in the deck goes new here. Back with another Death Battle reaction. Today we're doing something a little bit new where I am having my best friend react to Death Battle for the very first time and it's going to be Among Us versus Fall Guys. Now, I have never uh, seen gameplay of Fall Guys, so I know oh. nothing about it. She absolutely loves Fall I love Guys. It. I've played Among <laughs> Us. She's on the channel every single week for right now we're doing Ally Becker, Becker videos, but we've done like Helsing Gold Sword Bridge, Dragon Ball Z Bridge, SAO uh, Bridge, SAO Bridge, Hell of Boss, Hasbro to tell, all that fun stuff. If you want to find her on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you can find her at. Kirby Universe. Link down below in the description, also in the screen as well once the video begins. The last death battle reaction was me by myself, which I've done for all the other death battles, which I think there's over a hundred of them at this point, was Bowser versus Eggman. It was incredible. And let me know if you want her to be in future death battles, or maybe I should go back and show her some uh, previous death battles, and definitely let me know which ones those should be. I do read every single one of your comments, leave some down below. And also shout out to the patrons, because they get all the videos a day early, and I could not do this if it was not for them. And uh, I read every single comment. I hope that you're subscribed, as we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Also, if all things go right, she's going to be on the channel for the next three days because this video should be going live on Friday. We're recording it at 11.41 uh, uh, p.m. Thursday. Going to get out to the patrons immediately. It should go up on Friday, then Alan Becker on Saturday, and then Hevel Boss on Sunday, and then she'll be back on the channel next Saturday as well. But let's go ahead and jump into Among Us versus Fall Guys. All right. This battle is sponsored by Marvel's Her first Man. death battle reaction, and I haven't seen this one. I know nothing about Fall Guys. I've never I seen gameplay. I love Fall Guys. You would get so pissed off by it. You oh, would get, uh, you get 2020. pissed. Also trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. In recent years. Never seen gameplay of it. Among Us. Among Us. Woo! Nah, Fall Guys also the colors. That year. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out what who the? would win a death battle. I, I mean, I still watch the side play Among Us, but I, like I said, I've never seen Fall Guys gameplay. It's so good. I was never curious. Current record's I, 93 and 60, by the way. It's a game that'll make you want to throw the controller at the TV. Tons of stuff could go wrong at any moment, and it's up to these colorful clowns to fix it. I'm always yellow. Since their spacesuits don't seem to have any arms. Oh, that's not actually a suit. That's just how they are. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Oh. More yeah. later. The tasks they undertake to Three, save six. their ship require varying degrees of difficulty and skill. Wait. It may not take much to reconnect Sussy the wires in the cafeteria, but it certainly does to clear asteroids when your ship is moving faster than light. If, if that's not a suit, then why do they have a cafeteria when they don't have a mouth? At any point, these creatures must draw from medical training, electrical skills, and mechanical uh, uh, Okay, I mean, but yeah. it's total chaos, so teamwork is key. They gotta spread out and trust that while they're all swiping cards, they have each other's backs. <laughs> is that like VR? Well, success is always uncertain, mm. as though fate has placed some external... Who do you think is going to go into this? I'm going to use bias. ...in their survival. There's an imposter among them! I mean, oh. among us, but not us, though. Right, Wiz? Oh. Right? <laughs> Boo stick and Wiz is not an imposter. among us. That's just what an imposter would say. They're shape shifting aliens. They could be anyone or any oh. mad scientist in a lab coat. I used to stream Among Us with viewers. The it was rough. We need to play Among Us. Any means necessary. Anything from damaging lights to wrecking the oh, ship's sure. reactor. Which can be tricky to fix I, in I'm going to die first Even every time. Are what? You're going to kill me defense. first every time. The crewmates need special Probably. engineer training to do the same. I would. So not all of us I would. Can clean it up. All while the imposters conceal their motivations and infiltrate the herd the others always know something. also we know each other so well we know when we lie what we know each other so well we know when we lie space just for being nah you can't get me a little sus a little sus yeah where's is the imposter he does seem to know an awful lot about oh, these things. aliens. And just to put it out there, it isn't me. That's a good point. Have you ever heard him say sus? Dummy's yeah, gonna give it an no. L. What do you mean? Sus. Knowing a lot is literally my job. Sus is an actual word. Bad Mike, he's out. Please fix your mic, dummy. I agree with the metal bowling ball. Well, I knew the sussy baka from the start. And again, just to be very clear, it isn't me. Yeah. Same here. Oh, come on. Anyone can be the imposter. Or is it going to be boomstick? It's stick? completely random. Hmm. Random starts with R and so does... Oh, I know who it is. It's always the red one. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? what? <laughs> Dummy? It isn't me. It isn't me. 
Matt Blaz an imposter. They have what? confirmed ejects on. Oh, yeah. Right. There's yeah. No, only two no, no confirmed ejects. Dear God. The imposters aren't just tricksters. They're also hunters, bloodhounds tracking and assassinating crewmates when they. Where are they getting this footage fight? from? They'll snap their necks, stab them with a huh? knife, shoot them with a desert eagle, or yeah. use their freaking tongues to impale their faces. Oh mm. God! Right through the visor. They may look like oh. they're wearing space. What in the world? Was that real that life among us? Actual face. Examining their cross section reveals their insides always match one the bone. color of their bodies, and that they are comprised of exactly one large bone. Yes. Which must mean one their large bone. walk is entirely muscle based. Their whole anatomy is one unsolvable yeah. mystery. Their anatomy oh, doesn't make much they've sense. Got human toes, buff arms for no reason, and can stretch like Mr. Fantastic? What <laughs> are these freaky things? No one knows. They don't even exist within the same realm of mortality as you or I. Even but if one of them is bet. killed or ejected into the lifeless void of space, they return as a ghost, invisible, incorporeal, I mean, unable to yeah. communicate with the living. But yeah, no, that's a good, still good point. Don't give me on that us. Even beyond death, they can plot the demise of other crew or become guardian angels for the living by literally shielding them. That's God. No, all the abilities and roles. Remember that desert eagle they holster? Apparently, that thing also fires uh, a laser that can rip it's a. It's been a minute since I played. Planet. I didn't know about the shields. God, God, I watched him, uh, uh, Simon play. Like so. That would need over ten non-million tons of TNT. A number so incomprehensible, you'd have to multiply one billion by one billion. That's oh, a lot. Nice. More than enough. Twice. To annihilate Earth over one hundred and sixty million times. That's not that much. Seems like overkill for the uh, space vampires they were fighting. Right. The yeah, you're new to that battle. You don't know. Other universes. Fortnite, Vampire Survivors, Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator, the classics. Huh? Including this Henry Stickman guy. Apparently, he's a kleptomaniac with a surprisingly wide... People have said I need to play this game. The crew can have. Desert Eagle-Eyed crewmates will find Henry's weapons throughout the ship. Like a oh, really? Bomb, a teleporter, a ninja star and a magic pencil that can bring drugs to life. These creepy teletubbies can put whatever they want into existence, <sighs> and they're suddenly everywhere <laughs> now. Where's these little trash can people are freaking me out? In a strange way, Balance. all of this makes sense for this. <gasps> Completed card swipe on first try. In the face okay. of insurmountable odds, something inside tells them to band together a McDonald's no matter chicken what, nugget. to use all the tools available and try to survive again and again yeah. on a ship, on strange planets, anywhere they may be, in spite of anything that may be going on in the world. They either fix what's broken or <laughs> face dead. certain doom. But that. no matter what, they do okay. it together. Among us, yeah. together. With the J's. Yeah. Among us with the drip. You know, I'm actually referenced Welcome in Death Battle. World I am canonically a name for Bill Cipher. This is such a good game. Each other through fun Completely blind. But clear skies above. These lively obstacle courses showcase mm -hmm. their inherent skills and abilities. As if drawn by natural instinct, they hurtle over barriers together and pass okay. through various tests of strength, agility, and mental fortitude. And it's pretty impressive. Considering how elaborate these bounce house courses get, how do these weebles wobble through yeah. it with a shocking level Six of foot. hardcore mastery that otherwise hasn't been seen since 2006? Half a Mike Wazowski. But honestly, not many of the beams Alien beam. make it, and only one can be crowned the winner before everything starts all over again. Which so it's like Battle Royale, but obstacles. Competition, like yeah. Survival of the fittest, but for a bunch of candy grimaces, they'll grab, shove, and slam into each other to make it out on top. Or kind of reminds me of, what is it, party animals? Across the course, self-preservation be damned. So time, the beans it's have pretty much at random of, obstacle courses. It is it completely the random obstacle Digi courses? The like the game will just randomly choose the course and, and it's new three rounds. And challenges for themselves. Themselves. Or they'll as make new ones. Yep. Tools like wrecking balls, wind up boxes for punching foes, and even translators that make their nonsensical language intelligible. But even at their best, they're still just flinging themselves over these obstacles like a bunch of I... drunken lemmings. This yep. species seems to have a biological urge to navigate these courses for one singular purpose. Ah. Get that crown. I mean, uh, yes. if I could be king for a day, I'd push you off a cliff right now. <laughs> I, I'm sure he has. Get away from me. 
Things <laughs> in the Plunder Dome can get wild. We've seen uh, these goobers get smacked by giant mallets and fall into actual hot lava. Fall guy dressed as imposter. Back up at the qualification stage later, completely unharmed. Somehow, uh -huh. these remarkable creatures have demonstrated some dumbfounding durability, such as getting struck by oh. meteors. That's a hit anywhere from 18 tons of Mach 250. But they still get right back up to Rube Goldberg themselves straight through another <laughs> obstacle. On top of that, they were hit with the Big Bang and came out the other side completely fine. Whoa, wait, what? wait, what? Did I just I'm sorry, the what? Big Bang? Why do we even mention the meteor? Who cares? That's true. Throw that out the window. Basically indestructible. Boomstick. I hate to tell you this. No, those aren't really. Don't say it. Those aren't actually suits. That's their skin. Oh, yeah. Man. Yep. People were getting weird back in 2020. Didn't they have better mm -hmm. things to do? With only <laughs> arms, no. legs, and it's legs, no legs there must be some genetic mechanism inside the beans that causes them to be self-sustaining. Though after some dissection, it's unclear. Yeah. This is an official image, by the way. I don't know what's more upsetting, that skeleton or the fact that these jelly beans are six friggin' feet tall. Imagine I did not know that. In in a dark alleyway. Which part? No, thank you. So, this That's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, You're just flat out naked? Swinging <laughs> away. Yeah. Beans in the wind. Strange such nakedness would be allowed. Beans in the wind. Considering what's actually Steve Harvey. Is the Fall Guys are contestants in a non-stop 24-7 game show. The ultimate knockout. Yeah, that's what's actually happening here. So what might be misconstrued as some sort of migration cycle is <laughs> really a brutal, never-ending gauntlet that takes advantage of their tunnel vision. So it's like the Truman Show. Mixed so are there other beans watching them? Afraid. What happened to them or colorful what? cartoon beans? And so like, are the is the audience the beans game? too, or what? are they the made for this? Like the just the beans. Fall to their death, they it starts out with a hundred players, and you can play like online Zen multiplayer, like hundred, or you can play with just four people, then and then it gets filled with a bunch of CPUs. That's an official quote. They've also said they're strong enough to rip someone in half and can stretch their bodies so far they pass beyond the observable universe. Oh, God, the oh. Twitter. Oh, make the guy longer? Oh, yeah. January 18th, 2022, 9.14 a.m. The Fall Guy stretched so far, he exited the universe as we know it, and then he kept going speaking of you that means he has to be faster than speed of light dozens of guest stars from other stories Fast. and have learned from their cultures like Fast. flying around in the tardis of doctor who fame wielding he-man's power sword launching ryu's iconic hadouken or even just all the references i wouldn't get if it wasn't for they that battle become pac-man they're pac-man now Wiz, yeah, why I know not? We've seen some crazy things on the show, but these six feet tall jelly bean monsters eat food through their feet. What are we about to rot upon the world? What is this cute and colorful reality and endless void of darkness and despair? Revelations of I was gonna make a Attack on Titan reference, but you haven't finished it. Human mind to process a vicious cycle on this blue marble surrounded by mouthless, dead eyed beans. Pretty much, yeah, cool. Let's see him fight. This was the, I think, the fan voted Wait, one. You gotta play that I believe, I believe that when the Kickstarter happened, oh, they got to a certain goal, there would be a fight that the, the, the audience got to pick. Yeah. This is the one that the audience picked. I don't know who's gonna win. My current record is 93, no, 96, 90, no, 93 and 60, my bad. That means out of all the death battles I've watched, I've guessed correctly 93 out of 153 times. Um, and look at that well, I'm gonna, art. So I'm gonna say I'm wearing of pink. And of art variants, and they had new I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll say that. I, Think about it. I don't don't say it yet. Just we'll we'll see. Okay. Sure, but hang on. This guy I'm playing against right now is really tough. Also, well, hopefully there's no copyright issues in this video because sometimes the music gets copyrighted. Download the Marvel Snap. Most of my death battle videos are copyright claims, so I don't make a penny off of them. So that was a rooster thing so shout out to the patrons also so close to 100,000 subscribers also she should be on the channel in the next two days with alan becker and the hell of a boss okay i'm gonna go with fall guys who are you going with fall guys okay nice look at him lucky how are they gonna make this fight work, though? Oh, like this. Uh, reactor meltdown. Um. 
Oh, I know the song is gonna be awesome. Hopefully, it's not copyrighted. Who did the animation They're for this? They're so small. Well, yeah, the Among Us are three foot six, and the Fall Guys are six feet tall. I do this often, of course, in real life. <laughs> the twerking. <laughs> okay, just. Okay. But... There you go. That works. I have a feeling the Fall Guys are just way too fast. Judging off of them going outside of the observable universe in a day. There we go. Am I right? I guess, but they all kind of come back. This is fine. Oh. Everything's fine. Yep. <laughs> I, I did that once. I high five the knife. I had a feeling this would happen. What? They can't do damage to him? You can't do nothing. <laughs> oh, banana. Oh, banana. Okay, this music is way too hard. What the ability did that do? Where you can straight up teleport. Oh, there's a lot going on. There's yep. space now. Uh huh. Usually death battles are like 1v1s, but. Tardis. I'm surprised you know what that is. Thanks to death battle. There's a Doctor Who death battle. Death battle is how I learn a lot about a lot of characters. <laughs> how, how does Bro just like, oh, yeah, gravity's gonna work now? Obstacle course. You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh. I mean, the knife kind of showed that. You know, it can be damaged. Oh no. <laughs> there you go. The Fortnite dance? No, not the 2020 Fortnite dance. Mm -hmm. oh, when's the next episode? This is my new favorite Correct. show. Correct. 94 and 60 crazy. now. We I am um, into three categories. Offense. One for defense, zero. The bizarre. Let's start with offense. I mean, Corey, good luck. <laughs> Keep track. Planets, not to mention moving faster than light to hit all those planets in one shot. It's kind of out there, but no fall guy has ever done anything like that. The crewmates clearly get the edge in offense. Though that impressive but power speed. matters less when we look at defense. It's crazy how much damage the fall guys can walk off. They survived anything they're coursed through at them. Took I mean, those things look years, inflatable. Most importantly, the Big Bang, the yeah. Big bang. You know, the explosion that survived blew the whole the freaking universe into existence? Easy edge for the bumbling bean. We can even go a step further. Both of these creatures have demonstrated various forms of invulnerability and death negation. Like how the Fall Guys could always pop back up for another round, or how the crewmates became uh, ghosts when they die. Ringmaster. Or only the Fall Guys had a viable counter. Only the Fall Guys could ensure that their foe stays dead. Pac-Man, they can become yeah. Pac-Man. And then they can eat them. Ghosts. Brilliant. Which leads us to the truly bizarre. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in comment section. They could both stretch their bodies to absurd lengths, but only the Fall Guys stretch beyond the observable universe in a matter of minutes. In fact, mm -hmm. if we take these posting times speed. literally, that would mean the Fall Guys can stretch at speeds over a quadrillion times faster than the uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> that feels like a bit of a stretch. That makes Fall Guys the fastest the thing in Death Battle history, right? Fall Guys hijinks, like a magic pencil sword to fight off He-Man's power sword, or how they could potentially hack Digi's creations. 
But the overwhelming ah. amount of stuff that the Fall Guys have access to just dwarfs the Among Us crew's arsenal. I mean, speed. the speed is just... just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, the spaceship crew had Small a few bean. weapons among them, but the Fallen Guys had too many options Small that they bean. could not be countered. The crewmates I was a part of the Small Bean culture. But the one -track <laughs> just of course you were. Down. Making sure oh, there's only three categories? Oh, God. Fight, we're no longer Among Us. Oh, <laughs> what's a neck that has hopefully i don't have i knew that stupid robot was sus hopefully i don't have to skip it for spoilers Sad. so embarrassing the winner is fall guys the winner is the fall guy jocelyn was the other and me i had a feeling the other imposter Next time on who's it gonna be the kratos i do want to play through god of war i just don't have a playstation I don't know who the other guy is. Asura? As a member to see Asura's more Wrath? Thanks for hmm. watching. I have no idea what that even I've is. I've heard of it. I haven't. I've heard of God of War and I've seen Kratos before, but I've never played either of those games. So, oh, do I need, do I skip that? I, I don't have a PlayStation, so I'm not sure when in the world I would ever play God of War. Because I, I got to play through like Zelda Lacking. and stuff and, and gear, uh, Metal Gear. So I don't. I don't think I'll skip that one, or maybe I should. Please let me know. If, like I said, read every single comment. Follow her on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Kirby's Universe. Link down below in the description. She's going to be on the channel for the next two days uh, as well. She's usually on the channel every single Saturday. And let me know if you want me to bring her back for every single death battle in the future that I'm not skipping. It might delay the death battle coming out for a couple days, yeah. depending on our recording schedule, because she works two jobs. I have a life. But, uh, yeah, she's on the channel every single week. Uh, has been for a while, and has been hotel was also on the channel a while ago. But this is Among Us vs. Fall, guys. Th I can't believe that we that we picked these colors. I know. And, and then we looked at the thumbnail like, wait a second. Hold I on there. I literally got Hold this last week. Hold up there, bud. But uh, maybe I should show you Bowser vs. Eggman, because it was phenomenal um that's also a really good one or maybe i could show you um was it thor versus vegeta uh uh dragon ball z one because i showed her dragon ball z a bridge uh not that long ago actually but hope you enjoyed this video hope you're subscribed we are so close to 100 000 subscribers hope you have a wonderful rest of your day but until next video take care and key to music what what, what? we are literally the characters <laughs> what <Yeah. laughs> no, we have to switch we gotta switch we gotta switch sides for this one What?